We're here with Professor Levy, who is with UCSF San Francisco, uh, and we're going to be talking about the innate immune system. This is something that has always been exciting to me. We hope to make it a little more exciting for people in the audience. And uh, let's. Uh, and your talk was on that. Your your introduction to the to the field and to this section of panelists that we're presenting in this field. So let's hear a little bit about. Um, charge us up with this. Well, Fred, what happened is some years ago. Uh, in our own group, we were studying certain cells uh, called a CD8 lymphocyte that worked against HIV, but didn't do it in a classic way of killing the infected cell. It secreted a factor, which we call the CD8 antiviral factor, or CAF, mm -hmm. which suppresses the virus and doesn't kill the cell. Now, what we didn't realize was this was so fast, and it worked on all HIVs, simian viruses, and so forth, that it really was part of a non-specific yet specific. In other words, it's not so specific like the adaptive immune system, but enough to say, this is a virus, I'm going to take care of it. Right. And it introduced us, and, and I think frankly introduced uh, the HIV field to recognizing that adaptive immunity has already been established, neutralizing antibodies, CTL is killing with the CD8 cells. What about the other arm of the immune system? This mm -hmm. is the immune system that responds it's rapidly. Yeah. We don't know the number of pathogens or bacteria yeah. viruses who hit us because this immune system responds in minutes to days. I yeah. mean, it's yeah. just quick, so yeah. we never see it. Yeah. If they don't, if that immune system doesn't work, then the adaptive has to come up. in and yeah. pick up. So, for some reason. Everyone stayed with, innate immu with adaptive, adaptive immunity, immunity, and our group said, we're working with innate immunity. Right. So I wrote a review and got people you know, wired up for, let's say, and today's session was terrific because we yeah. had a full audience. Yeah. The innate immunity is now being accepted. We're seeing right. more people working with more interesting cells besides lymphocytes right. and showing how the virus can manipulate that system to get by the early response. Because mm -hmm. this is the basic system. This is the, the first system that the body began with. If and everything else is... Absolutely. It's, the mo it's the oldest system. It's in the smallest organisms. It is their defense. It has to be rapid. And when it occurs, if it's good, you never need the adaptive. Mm -hmm. But at least it's got to be somewhat good so the adaptive mm -hmm. has time to develop because that takes mm -hmm. days to weeks. And if HIV isn't taken care of quickly, it establishes itself in the body, and then you don't have any way of getting right. rid of it. Right. Now, I don't know if we can get the innate immune system to respond so rapidly that we'll never get infected, but we have people who have been able to do that. Right. These are those high-risk uh, prostitutes or the high-risk right. uh, in couples, discordant couples, never get infected. Yeah because we've shown that they have this CD8 antiviral response that we've been looking at. And if they haven't been exposed for a year, they lose it. So it has to be yeah. something that is telling them we've, we're arming ourselves, we're not gonna let this virus get in. Yeah. But what if we could induce that with a vaccine? That's right. Yeah. What if we could build that up with a drug? No one's looking at it. Drug companies are hitting yeah. the virus. Yeah. They're yeah. not doing it's much the virus, with the immune yeah. system. But Im immunology is, is always so very important. You know, our, our drug development committee of, of ATAC, the Eastern Immune Activist Coalition, you know, works on the drugs, the antivirals. But, but we also have an immune-based therapy group. And, and uh, that has always been, to me, so exciting. And we have the, the, the new issues around RNAi that's, that's so exciting. And, and, but, but getting back to your, your, uh, your pro program here, what actually has, I mean, you presented the last time I, I mean, you've presented many times since then, but I, I know that recent, you know, in the recent times, we've had other issues that have come up. What have you actually uh, been working on in the past number of years, specifically, that we would like to hear about? So it, we have been emphasizing the immune system. I'm a virologist, trained right, virologist, right. but I really recognize people surviving this infection because of the immune system, mm -hmm. not a surprise. Right. And we have emphasized two cells. Each, each of them produce an antiviral factor. Plasma cytoid dendritic cells, which are mm -hmm. the very first cells that see a pathogen and, and, and tell the immune it. system what's going on, right. and that cell makes interferon. The other cell is the CD8 lymphocyte, that when it sees the pathogen, it secretes CAF, the CD8 antiviral factor, and it suppresses the virus. And that cell doesn't have any reflection of that infection, and that cell could, could normally function 
until mm -hmm. the cell dies. So mm -hmm. these two are powerful, very rapid. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to learn how can you induce it. Mm -hmm. And we know interferon, we don't know yet what CAF is. It's a very elusive factor. I've talked on it, as you know, for mm -hmm. over 10 years, mm -hmm. because it's producing extremely small amounts and the CD8 lymphocyte makes thousands of proteins. Mm -hmm. So we have to find that one protein that's there in so very small amounts, yeah. but powerful, because right. when it comes in contact with an infected cell, it shuts off the infection. Right, right. So, it's, so it's a matter of inducing a response? Indu it, how can we get right. uh, a person through some drugs, but see, drug companies aren't approaching this yet. Mm -hmm. we, we, we wish they would. Mm -hmm. How can you get something in a person that would elicit this immune response of CD8 cells or plasma cytoid cells mm -hmm. to control the virus. Long-term survivors, people who have lived, we have people 28, 29 mm -hmm. years, perfectly healthy. They have a higher number of these plasma cytoid dendritic cells and they have very strong CD8 suppressing activity, mm -hmm. the innate response. Fantastic if we bring that back. There are ways, but mm -hmm. in, in your immune-based therapy programs, we don't see much emphasis. So how would you do this? Would this be like a vaccination that you would if you, ostensibly uh, present? If or? our hope would be that we would have a way in which you could measure production of CAF or measure production of the, uh, the response of plasma cytoid cells would not be toxic. Mm -hmm. So what could you do? You might be able to give a small, you might even be able to give an, an herb. Mm -hmm. We don't know. It's mm -hmm. too difficult right. to, to ask that question until we have a good way of measuring the production of CAF, I mean, a really exactly. fast measure. Exactly. We might find that some Chinese herb or some other um, mm -hmm. drugs that we're using will be perfect to, to, as a, as a for, a, yeah. for helping the CD8 cell return to making the factor. Because what we know is with development of disease, the factor is stopped producing, the virus comes back, and mm -hmm. everything goes. Mm -hmm. So we have to uh, find a way to uh, continue that response. Exactly. And, and, uh, and uh, find a way that that can trigger, uh, something can trigger that maintenance of that response. And interestingly, dendritic cells, the same plasma cytoid dendritic cell yeah. family, helps the CD8 cell. That's Interferon helps the CD8 cell. So it's a very nice yeah. intertwining, but that's the immune system anyway. That's why people are yeah. afraid of it, because right. there's so many networking. Yeah. And but it, once it, you yeah. define where you're going, you can get a, you get a yeah. long way. Well, you've done a lot in, in understanding, and, and chairing this session was no mistake. I mean, you're, you're there because you're doing the work. But um, so I, I appreciate what you're doing. Is there anything else you want to uh, care to uh, commit er, to the audience here at this point? Uh, is there anything that you, ex your expectations for work well, that's going to be done in the near future? My only point is that there is a terrific results of the antiretroviral drugs, mm -hmm. but we got to remember they're toxic. We got to remember we probably can't use them all our life. Mm -hmm. Let's learn from the long-term survivors. Right. Let's look at the immune system and find a way of bringing back natural resistance. Right. And that, if that message gets across to the docs and other people more. watching, there'll be more emphasis, hopefully, by companies to jump in and help. A more natural approach. It's a yeah, natural yeah, immune yeah, system, yeah, a yeah. natural way. That's what people are telling us all the time. With many different right. infections, right. polio, herpes, all that. We have people who teach us Right. That the innate immune system can handle it if it's strong enough. Right. That's the message. Well, listen, I so much appreciate your time here. Thank you very much. Right.